Scare you, John Johnny Johnson? Scare me? Clown man, the only scary thing about Captain Cola is how easily people like you fall for his Diet Dr. Cola advertisements. Hey, where's your costume? Oh please, I'm not 10 years old anymore. I've gotten to the point in my life when dressing up just isn't all that exciting anymore. Isn't all that exciting anymore? John Johnny Johnson, Halloween is exciting for all ages. It's a day to be happy. It's a day to be merry. It's a day when the people of the world can put aside their differences and come together to appreciate the meaningful experience of putting on costumes and asking for candy. I'm not saying I don't like Halloween. I'm just over the elaborate costume stage of my life. I'll still be handing out candy to the kids who stop by. I'll show you. You see, Clown Man? I'm not some anti-Halloween crusader or whatever you think I am. That's a relief. I suppose someone has to make the sacrifice in order to keep the rest of us trick-or-treaters fulfilled and engaged in our tradition. Wait, you're trick-or-treating? No offense, Clown Man, but aren't you a bit old for that? Nonsense, John Johnny Johnson. You can never be a bit old for trick-or-treating. You see, Halloween is exciting for all ages. It's a day to be happy. It's a day... You already said all that, Clown Man. Anyway, I'm all for people of all ages enjoying Halloween, but can't you do it in another way? You know, carve some pumpkins, go to a fall festival, maybe have a get-together with some friends? I'm doing all those things too, John Johnny Johnson, but Halloween is nothing without trick-or-treating. Oh, what would our forefathers say if they saw you slandering its good name? I don't think our forefathers had anything to do with trick-or-treating. I haven't done it since I was, like, 12, and I'm perfectly happy to keep it that way. I wish you good luck, though, I guess. Thanks, Don Johnny Johnson. I have a feeling it's going to be a wonderful night. Wow, I see you're getting into the Halloween spirit, Mr. Town. Mr. Clowman, we're throwing a party for the whole town tonight. Would you pass out these flyers for me? Of course. A Halloween party? Oh boy, tis truly the season of spookiness. So you really want to go to this party thing, huh? Yes, yes, yes! It'll be so much fun, John Johnny Johnson! Well, I guess it could be alright. Hooray! What will your costume be? Costume? Yep, costumes are required after all. What? Why? It's part of the Halloween spirit, John Johnny Johnson. <sighs> Uh, I'm sure I'll think of something, Clown Man. Great! Well, I better pass out the rest of these flyers, John Johnny Johnson. See you later! Whew. Perfect. Oh, the trick-or-treaters must be here. Trick-or-treat! What? You're actually doing this? I didn't think... Uh... I mean, here you go, Clown Man. Thanks, John Johnny Johnson. Are you sure you don't want to go trick-or-treating with me? I'm good, thanks. See you later. Good old John Johnny Johnson. I can always count on him. <laughs> trick-or-treat. Very funny, Clown Man. Trick-or-treat, Oscar. You're really serious, aren't you? I don't know why I expected better of you. Trick-or-treat. You're a grown man, for goodness sake. Even if I had any candy, which I don't, I wouldn't give it to you. I guess he must have run out of candy already. Oh well, on to the next house. <laughs> trick or treat! What on earth are you doing here, clown man? I'm trick or treating. Can I have some candy? For goodness sake, you're an adult. I can't give you free candy just for showing up here. If I did, the whole town would expect free handouts from me as well. And if I complied, our town's economy would crumble. I'd have no future in the field of politics. Well, I don't understand a word of that, but I'm sure it all makes sense. See you later! <laughs> Trick or treat! Well, maybe I'll give you a little something, if you pay a small fee. Not that small. Just give me all the money you have with you. Can I have the candy now? Sorry, but I'm still not giving it to you. 
You see, I know that you'll never sue me, no matter how unethically I treat you. Now, if I withheld the candy from any of the kids, you'd never know what their parents would do to me. It's basic economics. Oh well, I suppose it's for the greater good. Trick or treat! I apologize, Mr. Clawman, but I'm currently conducting an experiment focusing on candy preferences in children. I consciously purchased a precise amount of candy that would constitute a sufficient sample size for said experiment. If you were to remove any candy from the laboratory, I would have no choice but to terminate my experiment. Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? I am afraid that it would be, in your words, a bad thing. Aw oh, man. Not a chance! No way, Jose. I need to save the candy for the kids. You're out of your mind! OVER MY DEAD BODY! Eh, I'd really rather not. Give the kids a chance! You're way too old. Well, time to see how much candy I got. I struck out a few times, and I'm sure I still got a lot of delicious sweets and treats. No! I really should have seen this coming. Clown man? Mm, um, you okay? Mm -mm. Let me guess. No one would give you candy? Mm -mm. Well, look what I have. Thanks, John Johnny Johnson, but you should save it for the kids. I guess you were right. I'm too old for trick or treating. It's getting pretty late, Clown man. The kids will be going home soon. Take some. It's not the same when you don't trick-or-treat for it. Oh, to be a kid again. Okay, Clawman, so you're too old for trick-or-treating. You're definitely too old. But look, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun on Halloween. I guess we all end up aging out of some traditions, but all that means is that we get to have fun making some new ones. I guess you do have a point. I do? I'm just making this up as I go along. Er, I mean, of course I do! So, so, so let's, uh, let's go make some new traditions, eh? Yeah, like the Town Cafe Halloween party. It is the first annual one, after all. Ooh, it starts in just a few minutes! Let's go! I'll get the car started. I'll get us some fruit punch, Clown Man. I know we don't always get along, Frederick, but since it's Halloween, why don't we try being friendly on this most special of days? Have a Diet Dr. Cola, Frederick. I don't drink Diet Dr. Cola. Not drinking cola? Th that's horrifying! Ah! Oh, there you are, Clown Man. Here's your punch. Great costume, Professor Frank McStein. Thanks, Clown Man. Nice Captain Cola costume. I should have known you'd be too lazy to go to the effort of making a costume, Johnson. Too much work for you, I guess. <gasps> Gretchen's right, John Donnie Johnson. You don't have a costume. Well, yeah, but... Enjoying the party, Mr. Clown Man? It was until I realized that John Donnie Johnson didn't have a costume, and your invitation specifically said that costumes are required. That was just a drum of publicity, you know, to get people excited. It's really not a big deal, Mr. Clown Man. But, but, what about the Halloween spirit? Oh, uh, actually, Clown Man, I am wearing a costume. You are? What is it? Um, er, go meters! Um, I'm going as an office worker. But don't office workers usually wear dress clothes? Oh, well, er, uh, I'm an office worker who isn't currently at work. Yeah. Oh, okay. Great costume, Donna Johnson. What's your costume, coolness? I'm not going as the scariest thing I can think of. An uncool person. Get your Diet Dr. Cola! Get your Diet Dr. Cola! I could do with such a delicacy, Dr. Cola. You would nicely compliment the satisfying sweetness of the Halloween candy provided by this event. Mr. Mayor, I hypothesize that the data I shall gather from my observation of these partygoers will further the field of anthropological science in a manner previously unfathomable. Well, as long as your findings portray this town in a positive light, I look forward to seeing the results. Well, it's nice to see everyone's enjoying themselves and... Hello there, John! I'm dressed as a ghost! What do you think? Wow, what an original creative costume, Oscar! I love it! <sighs> I was talking to Johnson. Wow, look at all the candy they have here, and the activities, too. You are right, Donnelly Johnson. I can still have lots of fun on Halloween, even if I can't trick-or-treat anymore. Here's to inventing many more traditions in the future. I'm glad to see you're feeling better, Clown Man. Yep, 
And on the subject of inventing new traditions, let's go on to the haunted hayride I scheduled for us over at the town farm. What? You never said anything about a haunted hayride? How late is it anyway? Come on, John Johnson. Johnson. Hooray! Let's make Halloween last all night long! Well, I guess I won't be getting any sleep tonight. 